What is up, everyone? Azario here. Welcome to another ADS Play uploading schedule for the week of September 24th going into September 20, I mean, 30, 30th. So this is the last week in September. You know, this is the hardcore gaming quarter where, you know, all of the companies are going to be chomping at the bit at getting your hard-earned dollar to see which game sells uh, the most. But um, and I'm excited. Not necessarily for the games. I mean, I am excited for the games, but I'm excited for a different reason. So, unlike most people, I'm just gonna go right into it. So, as you guys know, I have been, you know, trying my best to get better internet service. Um, cause the internet I have right now, um, it wasn't good. And you couple, and, and most of you know my living situation. I live with several family members, and people who may not be blood related to me, I still consider them family, though, know, because you know that's basically how they treat me. You know, so I have to consider them family at the end of the day. So yeah, like it, it, I live with several family members. Let me just say that. <laughs> so um, you know, and I've vented out my frustrations before when it comes to online uh, gaming and you know trying to get things done and. You know these online sessions and things like that. You know, I, I and I understand a lot of people don't under don't get what I do on here. Like I'm signed as an independent contractor through Machinima. For those of you who don't know, um, so and you know I was with the gaming network, but that fell through and it wasn't a good contract and it wasn't a good look for me. Um, so I moved on to Machinima, a company that I've been trying to get with for since 2010, I would say possibly 2012 I don't know but I know it was, it was like around 2010 when I first tried to get with them and my internet my um my no, I think it was back in 2008 but that's not there you know there but uh yeah and I, I basically make money through YouTube um pretty much based on viewership and that means that I need to have quality content you know all the time because I'm always on the internet I'm always doing online sessions I'm always playing you know online games so internet is very important to what i do so much to the point where if it sucks then it's just like the video is going to come out crappy and it's going to hurt the money that i make like it's going to affect the money i make because so, nobody wants to see a crappy video right like nobody wants. well I, I guess these days maybe people do but you know people who enjoy gameplay video videos the last thing you want to see is a, a, like a laggy match right and i don't want to play a laggy match and i know it's not always the other guy's fault i know it's my fault well not necessarily my fault but because of my living situation you guys know you know you have to understand like i test my internet connection through my ps4 all the time and the connectivity with it you know the upload speed is always going to be more important than the download speed so the download speed would probably be like possibly like a good 30 megabits per second and then the <laughs> and then the upload speed would be like three megabits per second so it'll work perfectly in some cases but it's like playing russian roulette and more times than none i end up getting the bullet when it comes to you know having a good stable connection with somebody and it's just like i need better wi-fi so i'm here to announce that i am getting an internet upgrade finally which is something that a lot of you knew I was trying to do. Um, and it's happening tomorrow. Early morning tomorrow. And I'm off work. I'm, I'm off work. So I'm going to be here to take care of all of that. And let me just explain how this is going to go down. So the guy is going to come. He's going to switch out the modem. Um, with, the, with the one that can support the upgrade. And I actually found out that my... Uh, upload speed was actually well my upload speed provided by the internet service provider that i have um was 20 megabits per second now you know that's not good enough for anything especially living in a situation where you know this person wants to download a movie this person's over here video chatting this person's over here downloading something and it's just like the, the wi-fi is just tugging at all these all these sources and then when it comes to my you know online gaming uh, like everything's just shot to shit so it's always like a like i'm getting the short end of the stick i guess you'll say because i need the internet for what i do you know this is like a business for me i pay taxes on it anything i buy 
um, any bill I pay, like that's a tax write off for it. Um, of course, there's limitations. I can't go out there and spend like a hundred thousand and expect to get all that back in taxes the following year. No, there's definitely limit, definitely limitations. But I do make a good sum of that money back in taxes um, the following year. So I got to keep up with receipts and everything like that. Keep track of all the money that I spend. You know, write it down, and the following year, you know, just do my taxes and you know that's basically how it works um so internet is extremely important so i need incredible upload speed and um and download speed whatever you know like i need good upload speed that's the primary focus you know because download speed is always going to be good and i mean always um it's always going to be faster than your upload speed because you're not putting anything on the internet you know you're, you're taking something off so there's no dragging you know that's all dependent on your hardware anyway pretty much but um but yeah i'm finally getting the, the, the upgrade and my the highest actually i'm getting like the highest um megabits per second that my isp provides which is 50 now I don't know how good this is going to work, but I know it's going to be better than what I have right now. And mind you, they have a Wi-Fi modem downstairs, and I have tried to speak with the person who actually has the account for the internet service provider that lives here, the family member that lives here that has the account in their name. And I tried to get it switched over to my name, but you know, it, you know, we, we couldn't come to terms with it. And I understand, you know, and I, it's all over with. You know, I didn't pay the other internet company back um so i guess i can talk about it a little bit just so you guys can get an understanding um before when we first moved into this house i had a internet service provider by the name of comcast some of you guys know about comcast right some of you might even have comcast and they have um a business through uh well actually it's their uh company it's comcast company um with their xfinity uh internet like I had the account in my name and when we first moved here, you know, everything was fine, but I had me a shitty job that did not want to pay well. The, you know, it was just a bad time <laughs> and, you know, I couldn't really keep up with the payments to the point because I, like, I was making so little money that I would have to save up like three, like two to, to like three checks just to pay off like a $200 bill. Like I was doing bad that year that, that that first year i was living here i was doing bad man i really was but um you know through all the struggles i finally got a better job which i've been working at and you guys know if you especially if you see my instagram and you know like, like my nature at work videos which i need to upload more of because i do have more videos of that um you know i uh you know, but during that stint of me working at, you know, Big Lots, I'm not going to, you know, you guys know I used to work at Big Lots anyway. You know, I was doing so bad that I kind of created like a stigma that I couldn't keep the bill paid. So it's I'm, I'm not mad at it, but at the same time, I just want to be able to, um, you know, because one I wanted to get I wanted to try to see if I can get a like a modem like a wired modem in my room but what's gonna or even try to move the modem into my room that way I can have like a more, a more consistent connection but you know we couldn't agree upon that because you know the, the, the it doesn't make any sense to me but again it's not in my name so I can't really complain I'm just happy that I'm, I can get the upgrade and um you know and anything else that they have coming with it but uh yeah so what's gonna happen is that they're gonna bring the upgraded modem and they say they were gonna do like a wi-fi line extension booster or something like that and i don't know how well that's gonna work i, I never heard of anything like that before i mean i heard of like wi-fi boosters but they were gonna run a line from the modem up to my room not I live a, actually like a two-story house so they would have to like put the line on a wall and put it to the it, it pretty much put it you know like kind of tape it to the wall and like line it up to 
my room and into whatever they're going to plug into the wall. But basically, that's what it is. Um, I just hope it works because I don't really want to pay money for something that's not going to, you know, do anything. So that's pretty much it, man. I'm getting an Internet upgrade. So I'm just hoping that it's worth it. Because, man, I tell you, dude, I'm just, like, you know, anybody who plays any type of online game, you know it's going to be a bad day (laughs) when you're dealing with lag on a constant basis. And you know it's not always the other person's fault. It's just that the, the connection just isn't working out between you and that person. So, hopefully, with this upgrade, I'm able to do more consistent streams, more consistent, um online matches you know etc etc without with little to no worry of the lag now I originally intended to get fiber optic internet but here's the thing I'm trying to see how far I can get to where I can have a stable connection and a smooth gameplay experience without having to go that far now there's options out here when it comes to fiber optic internet and it's very cheap like it's well within my budget like i'm talking about like the the promotional offer is like 60 dollars, and then like the regular price would be like 70 that's that's nothing that's literally the price i would pay back in louisiana or living in the south like i'm talking about it's that cheap so it's like that's good that's good pricing um when the regular price is like 70 and then like the promotion is like 60 for a year um i'm all for it you know but that's still like even with the upgrade i'm getting with the current service in internet service provider service service provider um the regular bill is like 60 dollars and they gave you with the upgrade we get a promotional uh discount up to 50 that is um a 50 percent discount so the bill is going to be 30 dollars a month for one year and that's incredible so i'm just hoping that with that good news the internet is you know even better so that's basically it man better internet so that's the first thing i want to talk about 12 minutes for that right but uh i think it's exciting news you know you know, I can do more League of Legends videos. I can do more online sessions. You know, that's always a good thing. That means more content for you guys to watch at a more consistent pace that's pretty much lag free. So that's always a good thing. Um, so, yeah, that's that. Uh, next up, you know, August is coming up after this week. And I released a video uh, not too, actually, just a couple of days ago. Right here, you say vote now. Viewers Halloween special for October 31st, 2017. And uh, these are the five games that I have up for vote. I even got a poll on my Twitter, which you guys can access through the video description. Um, just go straight to the Twitter. I have a poll up where I am putting at least four of the games up for vote because I know one of the games so many people seen already. But these are the five games. I have Goosebumps the Game, uh, Crypt of the Necro Dancer, Darkest Dungeon, Too Dark, and Grim Fandango Remastered. So one of these games, depending on what you guys vote for, is going to be for the Halloween special this Halloween. So depending on my work schedule, it's either going to be done on the day of Halloween or if it's or, or during that week of Halloween. Um, more likely it's going to end up being the week because I know they're not going to let me off on no holidays. So let me just say that now. <laughs> but um, yeah, most definitely it's, it, it's going to be an exciting time. So vote for which game you would like to see for the Halloween special and most definitely I will play it. You know, all these games are already purchased. So I, I'm going to save them for future Halloween specials. But um, well, all of them except for Darkest Dungeon. I was, I was kind of holding out for that. Uh, everything else is like on sale so i got like three games for like ten dollars i love playstation plus so um most definitely man i'm just and i grim fandango uh, because it was a free to play or or a free to download game for the playstation plus membership one 
one month. I don't remember when, but I've been ha having it on a back burner, and I've been hearing a lot of good things about it. Darkest Dungeon, I wanted to do that last year, but of course, you guys know I did uh, um, I did Hellblade, um, and the other three were games I heard about, so I, 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 you know, that added either suspense, humor, or, you know, just different elements. You know, it, it doesn't always have to be like jump scares and like, you know, ooh, you know, little shit like that. It, it, it can be like funny. You know, like like a funny Halloween special. You know, all depending on what you guys want. So, these are the five games I have up for vote. Um, take your time. You know, we do have a while, but uh, you can guys can vote on Twitter um, at ads play one hundred and one. It's all one word. Um, and I'll see whatever you guys vote for will be played. So, Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite. This is a game that has been. Wow, I'm talking about blown up to the, to the point where all the gaming channels that I'm subscribed to, every last single one of them are uploading Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite content. Like, it was a time, like, this week alone, like, I couldn't find anything about anything else. Just Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite. And, you know, after playing the story mode, which I did, you know, play and beat, um... I, I did let you guys know that I, you know, it, it's been 16 years since I touched a Marvel vs. Capcom game, so I am a bit rusty at, at the whole motif and combat system of this game, but it, it, it's easy to get back into. That's like 16 years of rust that I gotta work off. Some things are gonna be familiar to me, you know, some things aren't gonna be so, as familiar, but nevertheless, it's gonna have that nostalgic feel, and for lack of better words, it's nostalgic, but... Uh, Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite, you know, it's always the Marvel vs. Capcom series. Period has always been like a spammy type of game, so I'm kind of reserved on my opinions about that. But one thing I won't be reserved on is that I actually have a video coming out where I talk about um why no X Men being in Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite is actually a good thing, in my opinion. I think it's a very good thing, and when it, I'm going to release that video tomorrow, possibly record it while the, the internet, the new internet is getting wired up. Um, sorry, that's my phone. Oh, yeah. Let me um, turn this down because I don't, I do not want any. Dude, why the hell is my phone not? My phone is terrible when it comes to this. Like, I'm pressing, like, the volume button and it's literally just, I don't know. It's, it's acting like a damn retard sometimes, but... That's neither here nor there. Um, but yeah. The video is coming out tomorrow about, you know, why I believe no X-Men being in Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite is a good thing. And it's going to be an interesting um, notion. Some of you probably already know what I'm going to say. Um, especially if you watch a lot of tournaments. <laughs> you know, it, it's going to be a good, uh, interesting, insightful video. So, you guys uh, check that out. So also, I recorded my first pre-play video. Now, the pre-play video is a series that I won't be doing from doing for every single game, but it will be a pre-play, as the name implies. It, it's a pre-play video, meaning that it's going to be recorded before the playthrough starts, and I'm giving my thoughts, my um, like my personal history with the game, and you know those videos will only be recorded for games that. I have a certain connection to or wanted to have a certain connection to but due to my um my limitations when it came to um you know hardware or i may not have had the latest counsel i had to skip out on so or things i may have heard about the series or what i expect from it you know a little interesting things and again it's not going to be for every last single game that i play um just the ones that i feel like needs to be talked about and things I want to skip before, you know, because I don't like talking through the playthroughs as it is. You know, you have people that talk for like 30, like a good 10 to 15 minutes before they actually begin the playthrough in part one of the video of the playthrough. And basically that pre-play video is to avoid having to do that. So I get all the all those thoughts out in that video. That way, when I start the playthrough, like I always have. I can just jump right into it and just start it without me having to do like a bunch of talking. So that's what the pre-play series is, and it's very good. 
Also, I got my new, well, you guys know by now, especially if you've seen my Instagram, my Yeti shock mount for, you know, like my blue Yeti microphone. And I, I got my wind guard, which I don't even have on this thing right now. Um, I don't even know why I bought it. It was like $3 going to waste, but no loss. Um, and my shock, my, uh, and my shock mount and my mic stand. So everything is good. Everything is good. I'm pretty sure you guys are hearing me a lot clearly. Um, especially if you heard my commentary lately. Um, the mic, the, the microphone in my headset is shitty, so I, I kind of gave it up, <laughs> and I'm pretty sure you guys can hear me a lot clearly now, to the point where you could, you could, you could probably hear a fan buzzing in the background, and I know I tried to reduce that, but it seems like I can't really do anything about that, but at the very least, you can hear me enough to where I guess that's not even important, so I'm not going to stress it. And uh, last but not least, I did my channel trailer. I did my new channel trailer that I've been sitting back and pondering on. And I just, you know, because you guys know me, I'm, I'm not really a fancy big edit type of guy when it comes to videos. I just record my thoughts and I just let it rip. And that's basically what it ended up being. You know, I don't have the resources or the hardware capability to do any type of fancy, big, fancy edit edits to any video. So that's what all that was for. Um, I think that's it. I didn't really talk about anything else. I didn't really have anything else I was talking about. Oh yeah, this ad revenue shit is getting on my damn nerves. Um, these these motherfuckers didn't hit several of my damn videos to the point where I can't even. Yeah, it's it's annoying. It's annoying. But uh, YouTube still being a dick. So, a game that I have co that is coming up is called Blue Reflection. Um, this is a game that isn't highly advertised, but this is one of those games where it's like, I don't know if I should keep it in my queue on Gamefly and then get it, have it shipped out to me. Because games like that normally have a lot of copyright protection. And I mean a lot, from the music to the audio visuals to the, you know, the actual gameplay. Now, when it comes to games like similar to this, I haven't really... It's it's been a few that you know I, I guess you can say I dodged the bullets and, and they haven't caused any problems for me, um, even up until now. So I may be able to get away with recording that, um, and not having to worry about any trouble. Uh, if not, then I'm just send it right back because I'm. It's not a game that I'm interested in, but I'm not interested in the game itself. But it looks interesting, you know. Like I'm not gonna show the trailer in the video, but. Blue reflection. Let's see. It's kind of look like a. The best way I can explain it, it's kind of like one of those idol type of games, like a schoolgirl turned into an idol, kind of like a Sailor Moon thing. Even though Sailor Moon was more so about like you know, girls turning into like superhuman, girls with like magical powers and schoolgirl outfits. You know, I, I don't know. Like, it's interesting to me because I, I feel like nobody else is going to play it. You know what I mean? So I, that's the reason why it's interesting to me. So. But I don't know if I want to play that over, if I want to bother with that and avoid getting Shadow of War. Because I'm still playing Akiba's Beat, but Prey is a game that I like it, but it's like, dude, how long has it been since I even touched Prey? Like, it's been damn near a, a month and a half since I even bothered with that game. The, the thing is, I like the game. I like what they did with the game and everything. It's just that with everything else, it's kind of like just certain games just go to, go on the back burner. And this happened with a couple other games. It happened with God Eater. Happened with God Eater Two. Well, those two games well, with the God Eater games, it was just that they just put too much damn content in the story mode. It's, it's like they trying to give you all the bang that they can give you for your buck, and they just did too damn much to the point where it's like. It's too much to do just to advance in the story. Like, you got to do all these side quests before you advance in the story. And I heard there were like 139 chapters in the damn game. In a way. And re regardless of somebody was just exaggerating that shit, it felt that way to the point where I was like, dude, I'm never going to get this game finished. And that's why I never bothered finishing God Eater. Maybe one day, but it's not going to be no time soon. But pray. It's one of those games where it's like, man, I haven't played a game like that in forever. I know the area that I'm in right now. I'm in a shitty situation. I have no ammo. I have no health kits. I have no no way to defend myself. 
and I think in my last video of Prey, I went up an elevator, I, I went up an elevator, I got this elevator fix, I'm getting so tongue-tied, I got this elevator fix, and I went up to like the second floor in the building that I'm in, and it was like three bosses in that room, it was like a giant fucking typhoon phantom, it was like one of the web weavers, which is like, I guess one of the main bosses in the game, and it was like another another boss in there and i was just like dude i am not going to be able to beat any of those guys because <laughs> one i don't have the upgrades needed two i don't even have any type of ammo to defend myself with so yeah I, i'm at, i'm pretty much in like a terrible spot in the game which i'm pretty sure if i focus i can overcome but it's like do i really care at this point the game I'm, I'm so far behind in the game i'm pretty sure people don't even care if i finish it or not um so yeah that's that but I will beat Akiba's beat. That's that's no, no um that's no question. Uh, and then you have Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite, which I do plan on doing some online sessions once uh, the new internet gets installed. Just that right now, I'm just chilling, you know. So it's it's a good thing this is happening tomorrow, and I don't have to wait like a week. And you know, <laughs> I'm just happy I'm able to get to it ASAP. Um, and the guy's coming early in the morning, so that means once, you know, the sooner they're here, the sooner I can get it, the hell of uh, everything done. So that's all I'm looking for, looking forward to. So, yeah, man, so that's the, that's it. That is it. That is everything. That is everything, of course, you know, let me plug in the GoFundMe because, you know, I got to do that. That's all my little subscriptions, DJ Vlad and all that other shit. Um, you know, the GoFundMe is still underway. My dream job break for new equipment because I do need a new laptop. Um, hopefully, I'm able to make that happen. Hopefully, you guys are able to help me make that happen. You know, I don't... I, like, when was the last time I even spoke about this? Like, nobody has done it. Like, I have not even tried to promote this at all. I don't know, I guess deep down in my heart, I'm not really a guy that likes to beg for donations. I don't know if it's pride, but I don't really consider it begging. I, I think, you know, because you guys enjoy what I do, I think, you know, it's people out there that want to help guys like me. So I don't know who I'm going to reach. I don't know how I'm going to reach them. But uh, most definitely, that's what uh, what it's there for, you know, just to give me to help me get the new, the necessary equipment that I need. I'm talking about a new camera. On, you know a new webcam a new definitely a new gaming laptop and uh, well not a new gaming laptop but an actual gaming laptop because this one the one i'm using right now is not even good for any type of online gaming you know it will crash instantly like i gotta turn everything down to the lowest setting so i can't really tell you know or really enjoy the game in its full you know, like I, I can't really enjoy the game like I should because of that. And you know, when you turn the settings down, you know, it's certain things that you're not going to see. You're not going to see certain effects. You're not going to see certain attack. You know, like they dwindle down certain things that make it so that the computer can handle it and not crash. But because of that, it's certain things you're not able to see. And then oftentimes the none, it's kind of vital to the gameplay for you to be able to see everything. So it's kind of... It sucks, so this is not one of the better laptops for that. So, well, that is everything officially. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it's lengthy. I, 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 again, I apologize for not releasing one of these last week, because last Sunday, because, you know, I had to work. When I get off work, I'm just like, I'm extremely fucking tired. I can't even do anything. Bruh, like, for real. It is, uh... It's one of them things that just, it kills. <laughs> so, um, so yeah, thank you guys for watching. Uh, peace. And I will see you guys after my new internet gets installed. And I can't wait.